Well, if this fence and this entryway look a little bit familiar, it's because we did a backyard garden tour here not too long ago. Um, I talked about printing up this beautiful burning bush, but I also promised to tell you guys that there was some transformation going on in her little potage or her vegetable garden. And I promised you guys that I would show you what it looks like now that it's been transformed. Now she's still working on it, but doesn't this look incredible? And here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. So in the past, it was it had been there. I'd helped her design it, I don't know how many years ago. And it was finally starting to literally just fall apart. So we wanted to kind of up the contemporary vibe of it, make it a little bit more updated, but also have as much charm. And interestingly, we both had saved the same image from a magazine years ago in terms of an inspiration point of departure. So it looks great, I think. She's still got a little bit of work to do on it. This is basically rough cedar, and this is just that really popular hog wire right now. I love the way they've got it framed out. It feels considerably more spacious than it did. In the past, the entryway was right here, and it was on an angle. And she went ahead and did a right angle here and switched up the point of entry to the side. She's got a couple of what look to be um, Oakland Hollies from Southern Living right here. And it looks like she might be gonna topiary those. But then I came over and between the two of us, we decided to make the entry point over here and I love it's a weird thing I love the smell of cedar so what she's going to be doing is making an ingress right here a path that will go to the inside and it will look like what you see in the interior there'll be gravel and it will be flanked by rickety rack brick and this, we also made it a little bit wider because she makes brilliant compost and she is such a good gardener and she's always um, uh, fertilizing her beds and top dressing her beds with that black gold that she makes. And a lot of this stuff, because if this is brand new, this has just been finished, she'll have some more work to do on the inside. We wanted to maintain and keep those two boxwood circles. That's wintergreen boxwood. And she had a large um, two-tour filled with hyacinth bean vine on the inside of one of them. And she's got all of her perennials to cut back and she's got more uh, gravel that she'll want to add. But she also bumped it out here on the north side so she has a little bit more space. So when you think about the practicality of it, she's gonna have a lot more growing room. And also she won't feel quite so claustrophobic and constrained, I think, in the interior. Now, you may recall that we had a little bit um, of, of a swale like this on her old fence, and she's repeated that here as kind of an homage to what she had in the past. Though the other one, I think, was convex, and this is concave. Stuart, is that the correct term? I'm not really sure. At any rate, it makes, it makes this whole thing a little bit more interesting, I think. But it has a really fun, contemporary vibe that matches the rest of her house it's a little bit more utilitarian. And I told her that I had that same picture saved for when and if I ever have my vegetable garden in Colorado. Granite mine will have to be far more substantial and formidable to keep the deer out. But nevertheless, I think this is so, so good looking. And then over here, there used to be another gate 
on this side. I'm going too fast for Stuart to keep up with me. I'm sorry, Stuart. But there used to be another gate on this side, and now it's just solid, so she has more space over here. She can put a potting bench. She's got her wood pile over here. It, I think, will be extremely functional and give her more growing room. In fact, now she used to have, I believe, tomatoes and things that she had growing in pots. Now she can put those directly into the ground, and some of these she could even weave through this metal portion of the hog wire. So, Stuart, if you don't mind coming over here and giving everyone a vantage point of what it looks from this perspective and from the drive. You see she's got some more uh, potted plants here and that combo of flagstone and gravel. And she also kept uh, her Carolina jasmine on the corner. She took out some roses that were getting to be just a little bit too overgrown. What that did, I think, also, in addition to making it look a lot less messy, is it makes it feel so much more spacious because you're not always having to navigate around those long thorny canes. So I think that uh, this new solution, this new look of her protege is just really, really brilliant. I am thrilled for her. She's a great gardener and I'm sure it will be absolutely fabulous, look great all four seasons and I'm anxious to see what she decides to grow in the middle next summer.